what's going on everybody I'm Jacoby here and I just wanted to do a little tutorial on uh, how to shoot the tanks where to shoot the tanks and the positions within the tanks I had a hard time finding a video on where all this stuff was and I could not find a video for squad on how to shoot the M1 Abrams or the T-72 B3 Russian battle tank so I just wanted to go over that for some of you guys who wanted to get into tanks and that aren't able to because you know it's kind of hard if you don't know how Obviously, I mean, you you might just hop in there, but a lot of your squad mates aren't going to like that real quick, that much. So, real quick, I just want to go over, uh, this is actually not going to be that quick, actually. I want to give you kind of an in-depth on uh, how to shoot them, where to shoot the tanks, and the positions within the tanks. Okay, guys? So, let's kick this off. So, first off, we're going to come over here to these diagrams. If you guys haven't already, this is a shooting range and squad. So, if you want to do tanks, I would advise coming in here and maybe playing around for an hour or two, at least, before going out there into the game and then into the server and pissing off your squad mates because everybody expects the world out of these tanks okay all right so let's go over armor real quick guys so you got obviously blue green yellow orange and red these are all all right the armor classifications blue being the highest red being the lowest actually black being the lowest and it's got no armor there all right but you're not gonna run into any of that on the tanks uh ammo compartment and engine all right, so let's go over here. So if you look at the front of the Abrams, guys, you can see that it's got a level 5 armor there, there, on these two flanges right above the tracks, and on the bottom side of the tank, it's got level 4 on the top. But if you look right inside the turret, guys, you're only dealing with 3 to 2 armor in this area. So this is your main spot on the M1 Abrams. Uh, the side, it's this is white, but it's, all, it's blue when you come from the side here. So this is also a blue plate right here, guys. So the front left and right of the M1 Abrams is pretty well guarded. So your main shot really wants to be on that turret. If you hit these plates, you really want to just want to aim for the underside right here, guys. If you're, if you're doing it on the run, really any square shot, guys. You want to make sure you're perpendicular to your shot. Otherwise, I'll show you guys a ricochet here shortly. But ricochets are bad. You do no damage to the tanks, obviously. So, yeah. Uh, your most op... You, the most the optimal shot against an, any tank that you're going against is in the ass so right there is your best shot guys but otherwise when you're facing the front of an abrams with a t72 uh turrets guys turret shots are best on everything all right let's go check out the t72 real quick guys coming over here guys it's front center this whole thing is level five armor as you can see so this is a really hard shot to hit guys you do not want to try and take a T-72 square up. If you do, you really want to aim for that turret, guys. Turret is key because the top left, everything around that turret's blue also. Uh, it's got green armor. I think that's green. It's got, like, tealish green armor. Maybe it's blue. I think it's green, though. I think green's right here on the top, guys. And then, obviously, the back end of this tank is just wide open for anything, really. When you're in the T-72, the only other thing you really have to watch out for is the Bradley. When you're rolling around, so you might want to watch out for that. The front of this thing is godly, but landing any real square shot on the Bradley will hurt, hurt it pretty bad. Just got to watch out for that toe. But yeah, guys, that's the armor. Let's head over here. Roll. All right, guys. Got so it. we're here with the M1 Abrams. we got a T-72 parked out there about 500 meters out. Uh, we're going to go over the positions of this tank first and what kind of the rules are of that position. And then from there, we're going to shoot at the tank and check the armor points. Alright, so you get your driver's seat first, guys. Anytime you hop in a vehicle, unless there's somebody in that slot, you'll hop into the closest position. You press F1, 2, 3, and 4 to switch your positions with inside the Abrams. The Abrams holds four people. And damn good tank guys all right so classifying the driver you're really going to listen to your commander who's ever the squad leader unless you are the squad leader and you're in charge of the tank which i would advise being on the 50 uh and just kind of keeping overwatch and telling everybody where to shoot uh the driver's main objective is to listen uh not put you in bad situations and to know where to position the tank we'll go over positions and tactical stuff with tanks in another video guys i'm just gonna try and give you guys a quick overlay uh, also, you have a smoke generator here. So if I click the smoke generator in the bottom right there, you can see uh, right here. Oh, no. Yeah, there it goes. You can see right here, guys. Um, it's going a little yellow. It's a smoke generator. 
Uh, that'll generate smoke, so if you're running from a tank, obviously generate smoke, do something, you know? At least you can do something as a driver besides driving. Alright, so let's go into the next spot. Alright, this is your main battle gun. Uh, I'm gonna go more into this here later, guys. This is just obviously your your main battle gun within there. Shoots 120 millimeter on the Abrams. So we'll go over that here in a bit. Let's go over the commander position. This is the commander position. All main battle tanks have these. Uh, it's a beautiful thing, guys. It's a uh, crow 50 cal. So you're within the tank. You can't get shot out. It's automated. You can use your mouse like I am now, or you can use A and D and S and W. Uh, your main job here as being the commander is to kind of keep observing. You might see the tank, and you might want to look off to the sides, you know, make sure something else is going on, you know. Maybe another tank rolls up, so on and so forth. Your job is to spot and call out where you guys want to be. You, you'll mainly probably be looking into the map, guys, and figuring out where the tanks are, so on and so forth. And then your last position within the Abrams, the T-72 does not have this position, which kind of makes the Abrams even better. This is an open gun turret. It's got 240 Bravo in it. Uh, I would say your main objective is to keep infantry off your sides and make sure that nobody is trying to hit you from whatever side you can see with the side with a hat or something. You can lay down a sh crap ton of fire with this thing. The mags on these things are pretty big. Wrong seat. All right, so let's go into the turret, guys. So first things first, guys, I want you guys to notice right off the bat. All right, so this is a 500 meter shot. I'm at 494, so 500, uh, right around there. From here, you got your range, guys. You got one, 100, 300, 500, 700, on down to 2100 meters. Uh, per your shots, guys, I want you guys to look. You got uh, the one you want to be shooting the tanks with is your uh, 120, your armor piercing Sabbat for both tanks. That's what you want to be using against enemy tanks. You have a high explosive anti tank vehicle gun. God, I said that totally wrong. A high explosive anti tank round, which isn't really, you won't use it really use that for the tanks. You'll use that for, I mean, you could use that for strikers or any other vehicle but the Abrams and the Bradley. You want to use your armor piercing Sabbat round. Uh, the high explosive rounds will blow up fobs, radios, uh, rip in between shreds. You got your coax, which is your machine gun. Uh, you got smoke launchers. These are good for if you're, if you took a lot of hits from a hat or from another tank, you gotta get out of there. Pop your smoke. I'm gonna do that over here. Actually, you have to aim it and shoot it. That'll pop smoke everywhere all around you. I didn't push it off far enough to the left. And that's it. That's it for the. Uh, oh, dang it! I keep pressing my tilt key. All right. So once the smoke clears, uh, guys, I use uh, ASWD for just strafing around. And if I see a tank, I'll lock onto it, and then I'll use my mouse from there and I'll lock everything on. Uh, right now, for the Abrams, everything is straight up and down. When you get to the T seventy two, some stuff's off to the right that you have to watch out for. Because the camera's off to the right, so you have to adjust for that. Alright guys, so we're going to talk about shooting the T-72 battle tank here. And first things first, we're going to do a ricochet shot for you guys. So, ricochet shot is a, sh a round that impacts and does not connect. It'll shoot off or skid off the side, one of the two. So I'm going to fire one of the Sabbat rounds right here, right at the side. We're a little high there, so about right there is going to be the shot. That's a ricochet. You watch that round shoot off to the right. That is a ricochet. You do not want those. I can probably do it to the left here, too. The T-72 does have an advantage on ricochets. It's round. It's got reactive armor. And so a lot more rounds of ricochet off of it. So you really want to hit it square. So first things first, guys. I'm just going to put a shot right into the armor. Right square up with it. That's a hit. That's a solid hit. Really solid hit. That thing's going to blow up one hit from the Abrams guys and there's a reason why on the T-72s they're a little bit weaker than the Abrams another solid hit you want to keep yep and there she goes you want to keep your tanks to a slight angle so it causes less I'll show you guys that here later go all right all right guys this is a T-72 B3 Russian battle tank guys everybody calls it the T-72 uh, we're gonna go over the positions in this one now as always guys driver seat first you got your smoke generator, just like the last one. Uh, you got your main gun on F2. 
This one's a little different. We're going to go over this gun here in a bit. Wrong button. And you got your commander seat, guys. Shouldn't end the SBT. Alright, same thing. You are enclosed. Uh, and same roles as you would with the Abrams, guys. In your map, pointing out where everybody's at, trying to find things that your gunner or your driver cannot see. As in infantry, tanks... Habs, everything else, guys. You're the best looking position here. If I didn't say that before, guys, you can see everything from this position. All right, let's go back to your main gun. All right, main gun, guys. All right, if you look here, first things first, you get your range at the bottom again. But here, guys, you get your 100 meters, your 200, and your 300 off to the right a little bit, guys. So I want to show you guys that. All right. So your 100 meters, if I shoot square at this thing right now, I'm going to hit it kind of to the right of it. If I shoot right here, the 100 meters is right here, so I'm going to hit right there. So what I'm going to need to do is move my 100 meters square at the front of this thing, and there it is. Reload, 200 meters. I'm going to have to, again, I have to be off to the right just a little bit, or off to the left. Another one, and you 300. So on and so forth, guys. Your 500 meters in is right on the tip of it. So right now we're looking at 496 for a shot. Uh, the M1 Abrams will not ricochet as much as the T72. So the Abrams is a little bit more cushy of a target, but it has more armor and more health in my book. So we can take more rounds. All right, so firing one, guys. Once again, we're going to want to aim for that turret, square up. And get the hit right in the turret. That's an optimal thing. That is a good shot. Solid hit. You do not see around ricochet off to the sides. We all know that was a solid hit. As you can tell here, this tank would blow up from now from that damage there, but you always want to finish tank so that you cannot shoot around at you. You want to try and minimize the damage on you at all times. That is your T-72 battle tank, guys. Uh, per your the, what rounds you got, I didn't really go over that. That's my fault. You got high explosive, uh, 125 millimeter, high explosive anti-tank round. You got your fragmentation rounds, which are good for infantry. You shoot this thing at an infantry round. At an infantry, it's going to pop. So just shoot this guy with it. And use your mouse to line it up. Boom. That's gonna be like a grenade going off. Your high explosive is also like kind of like a grenade, but more impact on the explosion. Doesn't shoot as much fragment. That's your high explosive, guys. You also have a guided missile, a tow, which will do a lot of damage. If you're dealing with a really far shot, you might want to deal with the tow. Boom, toe hit. You really want to keep that still. You don't really got much to worry about, guys. Toe is a very... If you're going for your first two shots and you don't want them knowing where they got hit from, use your toe, guys. A lot harder to trace the toe around. And also, you have your coax, guys. You have more options with the T-72, but you, have, you can take less shots than the Abrams can, guys. Per that, guys, the only thing, other thing you got to worry about, guys, is the Bradley on the American side. The T-72 is a very... Powerful and great tank, guys. I actually prefer the T-72 over the Abrams, just for the tow and the versatility of the rounds you get with the T-72. Real quick, guys, I just want to give you guys a quick like little briefing on the Bradley and why it's so effective against the T-72. Uh, you can demolish this thing very quick and destroy it with the T-72 fast, but the only thing you really got to watch out for on this Bradley is this gun can do damage to you, but also... Let me switch to the gunner see for you guys. Uh, it carries a tow, and a pretty powerful tow, guys. Wire guided tow. So I'm guessing if I shoot this, it'll one shot your tank. Front. I've taken a frontal shot from this. It'll take three quarters of your tank's health. Uh, you'll still win the fight, but you'll be at, have to RTB. Uh, really watch out for the Bradley, guys. Very powerful tank that is on the American sides, and not much on the Russians can counter it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any, like, comments, concerns, uh, critiques, or, like, helping me on maybe something I missed, 
Uh, please don't forget to hit that down in the comments, guys. If you like the video, please give it a like. Uh, also, hit the subscribe, guys. I hope to be doing more of these squad tutorial videos. It's kind of hard to find, like, certain ones. Uh, I see a couple other YouTubers tubers are doing it, and so good for them, guys. Uh, you can find me on Twitch, guys. I stream quite a lot of squad, and Apex, and a lot of other things. Uh, Jacoby underscore Raider. Uh, Twitch.tv backslash Jacoby underscore Raider. There you guys go. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope this, guys, this helps you guys a ton. And uh, also a big shout out if you guys want to play some games with me. I'm usually in the TBG.com Warzone Chicago on squad, guys. So I hope to see you guys all in there. I am Jacoby Raider, guys. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Uh, thank you. Have a great day, guys.